The orbiting Chandra X-ray Observatory recently turned up evidence at the centers of galaxies back in the time of the early universe. These images show its remarkable find, actual supermassive black hole pairs beginning what astronomers believe is a dance of death. In most cases, their forward momentum simply causes them to go into orbit around each other, like a planet around a sun. This orbit can go on for billions of years. To grow large, one black hole must draw the other in, close enough to swallow it. Albert Einstein showed how they do it. He predicted that when massive bodies accelerate or whip around each other, they can stir up the normally smooth fabric of space-time. It's like a rock hitting a pond. Some of the energy of the impact is transferred to waves that move outward along the surface. Likewise, a titanic collision of black holes would send waves, gravity waves, racing across the universe. So you have two tornadoes embedded in a third larger tornado, and they're going to come crashing together, and you want to know what happens when these tornadoes are not made from whirling air, but made from whirling warped space and time. This simulation shows what happens as two black holes get close they turn space into a turbulent sea of gravity waves. These waves have the effect of carrying energy away from the orbit itself. That allows the pair to draw each other in and merge into one. We go back to half of the age of the universe and all of these black holes are swallowing large amounts of gas. So it's a fun time. It's sort of the golden age for the growth of most black holes. The reason why is because most of the large major mergers are occurring in the universe around this time. This simulation shows how a galaxy like our own might have taken shape in a flurry of mergers and collisions. In the beginning, gravity drew patches of stars and gas together. A new larger patch drew still others. In fact, the universe is littered with galaxies in the process of ripping each other apart and crashing together. In the turmoil of each new merger, another victim is thrust into the jaws of a growing black hole.